Okay, so um, g'day rugby fans and welcome back. We're here at uh, the British Consulate with Warren Gatlin, the head coach for the, the British Lions for the 2013 tour. Um, Warren, welcome to Hong Kong. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the purpose of this trip. Why are you in Hong Kong now? Well, it's the final leg of a recce. We've uh, been all over Australia to the venues looking at uh, hotels, uh, training, training grounds, um, the stadiums, and just making sure really taking out the the heads of department really of the tour just making sure we get everything right logistically before we go on tour because the hardest thing about this uh, trip with the Lions is that we actually sort of assemble and then hop on the plane and fly to Hong Kong for the first game so we've just got to make sure we get everything right um, off the field in terms of preparation. Yeah. Um, what's the strategic importance of this first game in Hong Kong? Well it's, it's massive I mean first of all the guys that get selected for their first game it's uh, their opportunity to put themselves in the shop window and uh, put their hands up to you know, everyone's going to aim to get selected for that first test. So for us, I see that first week together here in Hong Kong, uh, it's going to be hugely important in terms of uh, bonding as a team, doing a few social events, uh, but training is important as well, and then hopefully getting ourselves uh, off to a good start against the Barbarians. It's going to be a tough game. We're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, great cultural thing for us to be here in, in Hong Kong as well. So really excited about it, and you know, if we can get a full house at, uh, at the stadium, it would be fantastic. Brilliant. Um, do you think you've got the facilities in Hong Kong that you need to achieve all those goals from the, the social and the training perspective? <laughs> yeah, we've uh, had a good look around. You've had, spent a couple of days here, so we went out last night, had a fabulous meal. We looked uh, today at uh, some of the training grounds and uh, and went to the, the um, uh, Hong Kong um, football stadium as well. And uh, uh, So, yeah, we're very pleased with um, how we've been looked after. I mean, the hospitality has been absolutely outstanding and uh, the facilities for us, you know, would be great for that week. So, you know, June, we know how hot it's going to be and humid and, uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't pour down with rain as well. Yeah. Um, and as a Kiwi who, uh, who, who've been there and scored a try against the Lions in 93 and a, and a great win for Waikato, how does it feel to, to take the Lions down under and take on the Australians uh, for you? Yeah, as a Kiwi, you always want to beat the Australians. So, um, you know, incredibly proud, uh, really excited about the about the opportunity. And um, you know, I know that uh, having been involved in 2009 and in South Africa as an assistant, um, you realise what it means to the players. To you know, they're very proud to play for their their home nation, but the the pinnacle of of anyone's uh, career in the Northern Hemisphere is to play for the Lions. So. Uh, I, I understand that, but I also know what it's like to play against the Lions as well. So, um, being on the other side, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity because it only comes around every sort of 12 years, whether you tour in Australia or South Africa or New Zealand. So, um, you, you know that uh, whoever you're playing against, uh, this is their, their opportunity. So, you know, they're going to be tough matches, but uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a tour that hopefully we, we've got the, the quality of players that are good enough to go down there and, and win a test series. Cool. Uh, last question. Um, what uh, message do you have for the residents of Hong Kong and our Rugby Asia fans about this upcoming match and um, getting themselves to the match? Well, I think it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, hopefully a, a really exciting match. Uh, quality Barbarians team. Uh, you're going to see a, a Lions team that are going to be you know, incredibly motivated to want to get off to a good start. And you know, um, I think we could, couldn't think of a better place to come and start the tour off here in Hong Kong. It's the first time that the Lions have, have played um, outside of the, uh, sort of t away from the touring country they're going to, you know, going to Australia for the first time and an opportunity. So hopefully it's a great success. So people come down and get, in, get into the stadium and I'm pretty sure there's a great game of rugby. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, good luck with uh, the rest of the trip thank in, you very uh, much. in June. Cheers, thank you. Um, so I'm not sure we'll win the series, but, but one thing I, I do know is we'll go down there with the right attitude. Over at the uh, over at back. Um, back in '97, you had the, the wild card factor of the guys that kind of transitioned from rugby league. Um, with the way things have changed in recent years in rugby, do you see? similar opportunities, not necessarily for rugby league players crossing over, but for um, an opportunity maybe to gain competitive advantage in other areas, given just how much exposure rugby has these days? That's a bit complicated for me. <laughs> 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 That's <good stuff> for <laughs> me. <laughs> Typical feeling that I'm not very bright by the <laughs> I'm not too sure in terms of uh, 
it's going to be difficult for people to come from the outside. I think with the way the game is at the moment, it's. Um, um, I think that saying that transition period, so much John Bentley, I think was very, very typical. In 1997, Jason Robinson um, it hadn't been long in Union before he played for the Lions as well. So, um, it's, uh, I think at the moment, probably be very, very rare for us to be thinking of someone else. Like that. Any easier questions? <laughs> Congratulations, Kevin here. You've won the Lions jersey. Well done. This is Warren Gatland. You're watching Rugby Asia Channel.